What is going on, beautiful people? It's your boy here, Wesley from A Connection TV here on YouTube, the one place on the World Wide Web where we actually adopt similar connections despite our differences. And welcome to my channel. If this is your first time seeing me, definitely follow me on all social media, Twitter and Instagram at A Connection TV. Now, look, I am here to talk to y'all about the challenge, season 40, <sighs> entitled My Trivia Era. Okay, do we like trivia? I don't really care about trivia. And we all know that these people don't really know much of anything. Neither do I. But when asked questions about the franchise that you so love to take part in so, so much, you would think that you would know all of the right answers to the questions. At least I would think, but whatever. If you were not in those seasons, you probably didn't go rewatch it. If you don't care about it, you probably didn't go. But y'all are up for a ton of freaking money. So yeah, go do your research. Now, where we last left off, we had Avery and Darrell picking targets. And a lot of people were upset that they were picking, that they, they were the targets picked or made. And, uh, you know, everybody gets back in the house or whatever. And CT, not CT, Bananas and Laurel are targets. And for whatever reason, they don't know why. Okay. Uh, for whatever reason, Laurel doesn't understand why Darrell picked her. Okay. You know what was really good about this episode? And I'm really not going to get too deep into it. But it's nice to know that somebody outside of Kara has a problem with Laurel. I mean, even Ryan was talking about it, but at least Darrell went after her. We're going to get there in a minute. But it was nice to know that somebody other than Kara has a problem with Laurel. I loved it. Okay? Laurel is an asshole. Yes, she is. CT then comes on our screens looking as big as he looks and says, you should never switch up or alter who you are as a person because you never know how the game is going to change. Something along them lines like, you know, don't get too big because you know what might happen. You don't know what might happen or don't, you know, count yourself out because you don't know what might happen. Something along those lines. Then we got Devin popping up on our screens, the genius Devin, and he's like, we lost the player, Tori. I mean, Tony. And it's because y'all didn't help him at all. You helped Avery, though. But whatever. We lost a player and we can't lose any more players. It's not a good thing to lose players. Then Jordan's like, you know, I just think that we should just go ahead and volunteer because we're all going to need to do it at one point. Let's just get out the way and just volunteer. Everybody's like, yeah, sure. Let's, you know, let's, let's do that. <laughs> Let's volunteer. I'm like, uh, that wouldn't be me, but okay. Then we get a segment reel of Jenny and Anissa. And y'all already know that I was annoyed with this. Jenny is championing Anissa, talking about your body is awesome. I don't know what you're talking about. You went through a lot and you're back here. Then we get this sob story reel about Anissa having to go through surgery because she ruptured her Achilles, killer consigular, whatever it's called. And she had to get through walking again. She, I mean, she has, she's having a whole, I was about to say, let me not do that. She's having a, a whole moment about what happened to her and how she had to get surgery and she's, she's bounced back and she's better than ever, but she still looks the same. And to be fair, your Achilles doesn't have anything to do with what your weight is or what your body type looks like. All right. Athletes, pro athletes, uh, mu muscle bodybuilders, all of them, you, anyone, I can, you know, sprain or rupture or whatever, your, my Achilles. I get all of that. I get all of that. But then my question still is, why is everyone putting up Anissa? Why don't any of the men want Anissa on their team? There's a reason. There's a clear reason distinct reason. And for whatever reason, Anissa doesn't want to take heed, doesn't want to change her habits, doesn't want to work out, doesn't want to look the part, doesn't want to do any of it. She just wants to go home, do her life, come to the challenge. She said she trained. I don't necessarily know what she trained in, but again, Anissa seems to perform well under pressure and when she's thrown in eliminations, no matter what her physical body looks like she proved that at the end of this episode but still i'm gonna say what the hell i'm gonna say because there's no reason for her to have been in elimination if anisa is this legend and this elimination beast and she's all this and all that the men would not have thrown her ass in elimination all of the time but i digress 
Y'all love Anissa, and so does Jenny. Whatever. Tori then gets a moment to speak to Josh. And I don't know if I had an edible. I don't know if I was drunk. I don't know if I was drinking. I don't know if I was smoking that stuff. Okay? But in this conversation, Josh is looking kind of cute. Uh, mm. Mm. Uh, I know, I know. I, I can't believe I said that. But the face was facing. The pullback Jerry Curl was pulled back Jerry Curling. Okay? The upper body was looking like an upper body. And I was like, what the hell is going on here? Josh actually looks like a grown man. And the way he's holding this conversation together with Tori. <laughs> I'm like, who is this? Baby, I'm looking at him sideways like, Arr. okay, he's kind of cute. Mm. But then he stood up and, you know, the, the, the midsection was not really midsectioning. So I was like, all right, I'm pulling back out. But no, shout out to Josh. Josh is looking and speaking like a man. Okay? Like a mature one. So shout out to Josh. Shout out to Josh. Horacio comes on our screens, the lovely Horacio, and he says he's playing for Kylan because Norris is not there. Right away, I already see who's being put up. I really do. I see Anissa and Jenny being put up. I see Horacio being put up. I see Josh doing something. Like, we already know that these people that they're showing us in the beginning of the episode is going to be involved throughout the episode or towards the tail end. And I'm feeling bad because I'm like, damn, Horacio, damn. You know, I don't really care about Anissa like that. Don't really care about, you know. And I saw some video with Anissa talking about, well, it doesn't really matter what the haters say because y'all are not on the show. Y'all are not the ones that get a call to come back. Y'all are not this. Y'all are not, I, I guarantee. <laughs> and I could be wrong. I, I could be wrong. But I guarantee that Anise, the Anisas, the CTs, the Johnnies, the Derricks, the, the legends of the challenge aren't always the one receiving the call first. I guarantee you they know when the next challenge is going to be and they're petitioning to get on the show. Please believe. Please believe. If, if every season the producers are calling Anise, I'd be shot. I'd be shot. I'd be shot. I know daggone well Anisa, Johnny, they all put their bid in way before the next thing come. And they all want to make sure they can say what they need to say to get through the lines. Corey, Corey told, told the world how it works. Some, they say sometimes you receive that call. Now, I'm sure some people receive that call. But then other times, baby, let me not, let me not, I'm not going to go in. I'm not going to go in. But Anissa ain't just sitting around drinking coffee and then she gets a call to be on it. I don't see that. I just, I, I don't see that. But she's like, you know, Y'all don't do what we do. So I don't really care what the haters say anymore. Baby, you care about not getting to the final and winning her every time you go on there. You, Leroy, Corey. I like Corey. Let me take that back. <laughs> um, uh, all y'all. I like all y'all, but still, like, cut that out. Like, don't talk like that. Cause baby, I know it's not giving that. It's not, it's not giving that. Be a Laurel and be like, yeah, y'all not getting the call like I get the call. You know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, I'm a legend. Hear me roar. But baby, don't be some queen that's some sort of queen of the elimination round. <laughs> like, what? That's not a stat. But anyways, I digress. Cause y'all think that Anissa is my new Josh. And I'm loving Josh. I don't <laughs> I'm loving Josh. It's very easy with me. You see, you come back changed a poor waste adult, and you make moves and do what you need to do. You can tell that uh, Josh been working out, getting in the gym, doing his thing, Dizzle. Thing Dizzle for Shizzle. Her, not too much. TJ congratulates Avery and Darrell. And then I'm going to just skim through this. You know, Kylan takes geography for 400 and gets it wrong. Oh, baby daddy. He didn't get no questions right. We got one right. But damn, like Kylan really bombed. His whole era, era four, bombed. Boom, down, down in, down in the dumps, right? Horacio's going, thrown, getting thrown in because he was a target. Down, they lost, gone. CT, breaking his back because he's old. What was hilarious, let me, let me not skip past my lows. Let me make sure. CT gets hurt. Theo gets the first one right for the Arrow 4. Arrow 4 lose, they drop. And Horacio and Jenny automatically go into elimination. 
I, I so I was watching this and I had forgot who Brad was uh, having sex with or doing whatever he was doing with in the bathroom when they came out separately. It was Emily. We see Brad and Emily having con conversed in this episode, baby. Emily, you better let him knock them boots, baby, now. Because Brad is fun as hell. And then Brad was, like, trying to spit game at the table. His old ass was trying to spit game with that long-ass eraser hanging from his chin. I was like, you know, Brad is sexy, baby. Brad is sexy boots. And he was like, cheers to us. And cheers to figuring out this together. I'm like, oh, knock them boots down, Emily. Knock them boots down. But shout out to Emily, baby, because when Emily was on that pole and she knew she got it wrong, she said, I'm not falling off like off this thing like these other morons been falling off. Oh, baby, I'm going vertically. Uh, not ver Yeah, vertically. I'm going straight down. Me, straight, pencil. I'm going in here, feet first, baby. I'm not about to CT this. She grabbed on the thing and said, nope, I'm not falling. I'm doing it my way. She she took the hand and said, whoop, and just dropped. I say, yes, ma'am, that's that's what I'm talking about right there. That's what I'm talking about right there. And then guess what happened after that? Guess what happened after that with this punk bra bitch? Guess what happened at Miss Laurel, that punk bra? That fake bully like the real called her. She don't try to do what she don't try to do what the girl Emily did. And baby looked horrible trying to do it. Johnny Bananas tried to do it, fell, fell back. Laurel tried to do it, back. Everybody tried to copy Miss Emily getting into the wood. Did y'all peep that? Maybe y'all peep that. Ooh! But it go a little further. It go a little further. It go a little further into what happened later on. Wine. But yeah, for Miss Emily. Yeah, for Miss Emily and Brad, baby. I want to see that. Because Brad looked like his. <laughs> Era two doesn't win. Okay? And Laurel says, F you, Darrell. And her and Darrell go back and forth. He calls her a fake-ass bully. Then this girl gonna have the nerve to say, go ahead and get more massages from Emily. Aren't you married? I said, bitch, what? I said, no, she did not. Then we see the clip of Darrell giving, getting a massage from Emily. I'm like, oh, this, oh, this is a nasty witch. Laurel is a nasty witch. Oh, she is nasty. But see, the thing is, you see that Laurel has a thing for Emily. Baby, Emily knows how to get, Emily knew how to get in the water. Laurel was not going to hold that. Laurel was not going to try to straighten her shit out before she fell. She saw what Emily did. Emily did it gracefully. Set the tone. Then Laurel lost or whatever. She had to battle it out with Jordan. Jordan couldn't remember Cheyenne's name for whatever case may be. But come to find out that Jordan played that. Jordan played that. Yes, indeed, Jordan played that, okay? And him and Laurel had this thing where they were, you know, he, he was nubbing her, and he was arguing, and she was arguing with him. You don't know what I'm saying. You know, two rock wilders going at it, allegedly. But because of that, they want to help each other out. They want to coin each other's coinage. Girl, bye. Darrell ain't her up, and I needed that. I just wish that Darrell liked Car Does Darrell like Cara? Because I feel like the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Carl and Dorel should be friends. In my mind. In my mind. But that's neither here nor over there somewhere. Okay. CT walks back in the house. His back is fine. He's a little tender. Okay. Naya gets on my screens. And I just, you know, wrote down that she is so pretty. Naya is a pretty woman. Corey and Devin says Jordan knew the answer. They feel like something is funny. Jordan didn't know the answer. It was a planned coup. Yes, indeed. Uh, Laurel and Jordan, Laurel and uh, Johnny were the targets, and they didn't want to have to go on elimination. So that's what that was. I really believe that that's what that was, even though Jordan did not admit that in the post-confessional. I believe that that's what that was. Anissa and Derek tell Johnny to pick um, uh, Jordan and Naya to go in to uh, elimination, and Johnny says, it's not up to me. It's up to Laurel. And whatever Laurel wants to do, I'm going to do. I'm going to support. I'm not going to be a Tony. Bitch, Johnny, shut up. Because you was not doing this for nobody's Laurel. And, and what? You're just, you're just being a punk because you already know what the plan was. You already know what the ploy was, whatever the fake shit was. And so you already aligned yourself with that. Don't be like, oh, it's, it's Laurel's decision. I'm not going to be 
I'm not gonna do what Tony did to Avery to Laurel. Like, cut that out. Derek, Darrell, and CT are so old and bruised up that Darrell can't even sit down because his back is aggravated. CT is talking about he has to lay on his right butt cheek. And everybody's just fried. Everybody's body is fried. But you can tell that Darrell has so much problems with his back that that's why he's receiving massages. I'd massage Darrell anytime. They need a gay man like me on, on a chat. They do, baby. Anyways, Derek in the chamber walks up to Laurel and Johnny with notes. I'm like, whatever. We get past this. Josh nominates himself to be the target for the team. We'll see how that lasts. Uh, they choose Derek and Anissa to go in against Horacio and Jenny. I just knew that Horacio was going to win this, but Derek is a spitfire. Yes, I know about all the controversy with what happened with the producers and Norris went on a tirade going off about the producers, swearing that she still loves, you know, the people involved or whatever, but was right is right and was wrong is wrong. Horacio then went out on many of, you know, social media videos and interviews or whatever, stating that he was told by TJ that he had won. And, you know, when he turned around, um, Darren didn't have all 40 pegs in the hole. There was one spot missing. And the, of course, we've seen all the footage. The, the peg is hanging in the mix of it. But they're making it seem like, oh, you had to have all the pegs on the board. And technically, it was on the board. So technically, Derek won. Whatever. But TJ called out Horacio winning. We didn't see this in the edit, though. We didn't see this in the edit. And so everyone's wondering why Horacio um, was so nice and, you know, diplomatic when he lost. And he was like, you know, he's not a bad sport. He doesn't like to make waves and create waves. He's not argumentative. He's not com combative. And so he just took it to the chin and was like, whatever. Um, but he feels how he feels about it. He feels he, he definitely feels he was slighted about it. And other people feel that they were slighted. He was slighted as well. I mean, even Anissa and Jenny have gone on to say that, yeah, all of the pegs were supposed to be in the holes, and that's how the rules were explained to them. But whatever, Derek is still there. Horacio is not. I want to say shout out to Anissa because she did right. She did good. She possibly could have won. I don't know if that breathing spell that Jenny was going through was a way to allow Anissa to catch up to her. I don't know. But... For Anissa to get through all of that and not gas out, shout out to her. I, I really believe that. Shout out to her. Um, I still feel if she wasn't carrying that much weight, she could have sprinted faster and felt more lighter on her feet. But whatever. So says her, I'm not on the show. I can't do what they do. I haven't done what they've done. And so I can say whatever I want to say. And she does not care. Hey, more power to you, Anissa. Um, I'm glad you don't care about, you know... Whatever. I, it's Hey, it's your prerogative. You can do what you want to do. Listen, I like this season so far. I'm upset that some of my faves are getting booted out so quickly. Norris is booted out. Um, you know, Horacio is booted out. I still got a couple of people I like. I like Corey. I like Nehemiah. I, of course, like Kylan. I like Brad. You know, I like these people. Um, so hopefully they make it far. Anyway, leave your comments below this video. Let me know what you thought about this episode. I thought it was cool. I need to speak to Kylan. I do. I need to speak to Kylan because Kylan has a lot to say. He's saying a lot on social media. I need to speak to him. Anyways, doses.